So, here we go. Welcome back to uh, Goodbye Deponia, everyone. Uh, we're here with Rufus now, stuck on this uh, monorail track. So I guess we've got to uh, go down this path. It's just double click to, stairs. to speed Dark things up. And steep and slippery. Huh. I'd better take a jump. After all, I hate to... Oh. Rufus is always getting himself in trouble. What's he done this time? Aha, uh -huh, here we are. Okay, he's falling down the stairs. Uh, fall on my butt. That would be too embarrassing. Yes. Okay, so where should we go? Uh, should we go to this first room? Let's go in here, see what it is. Some kind of hotel or something? Press a bell. Ugh. Nope. My circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me, though, with all that noise from the cruiser route, not to mention the cold draft or the mold. But I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? He seems a bit spaced out. Yes, uh, looking for my friends. Let's try Actually, that. Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat? That's mm. them. Yep. Yeah, they just <laughs> checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night. Provided they stay in the room after midnight, of course. Which reminds okay. me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Not, uh, not that I know not of. That I know <laughs> of. I was going to say the same thing Super. as that. That's all right then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekel. Hotel Menetekel. So. Uh, thank you, uh, my good man. Uh, how do we find our room? Let's not worry about that. I'm Let's just have a wander room. around, shall we? Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. We've had that checked. Okay. So what do we have in our inventory then? We just have a key with room five. Or was that falling down? I don't know. Okay. So let's go and have a wander, I guess. Head down this way. Alright, we've got this like a dining room or something. Can we pick anything up? Salt shaker. I guess back to the old adventure game adage of pick up everything you can. And... Uh, Pepper shaker as well. What else we got? Uh, candle, can we? Coffee maker. Let's have a look Let's at that. Let's see if there's anything left in here. <laughs> uh, there actually was something left in there. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> Lovely. Um, oh, corkscrew. So look at that. We take that. Yes, we can. So we have salt shaker, pepper shaker, some dust. Anybody? And a corkscrew. Okay. Um. What else? Let's look at the painting, shall we? Picture. I don't think much of modern art, but this is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother. And then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. Aha! Here we have the perpetrator. Yeah. Huh, a nut. Can we do anything with the nuts? Needs tools when he has hands like vice grips. <laughs> <laughs> no then. Pretty slippery, my vice grips. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we have to come back when we've got something to use. Let's uh, let's go out of here for now. Okay, should we? Uh, let's go in the toilet. So if we work our way to the bottom, and then, pardon the pun, toilet bottom. Um, and we'll uh, go back up again afterwards. Occupied. Ooh, right. uh, are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suffering. <laughs> From severe temporal diarrhea. Lovely. 
Temporal diarrhea? What's that? Temporal diarrhea? Yes! I'm a time traveler. Ah. Obviously. You mean, you come from the future? Nonsense! Oh, hold on. <laughs> there is no future. I came from the past. I do think the, uh, the, the dialogue in this game. World. Fantastic. Uh, here we go again. Good humor. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the I've guy before, but who's going to prevent the Pretty end of much the world. on a par, oh! I think, with Monkey Island. The Monkey Island series was one of my favorites. Very nice of you. Um, but yeah, I'm this stuck is really here, good as well. Know. Why is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. <sighs> There's no more toilet paper. No. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well. <sighs> It wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! Huh, I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left. But it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh! Oh, and I had the chili during the Toxican Civil War! Oh. <laughs> okay, uh... Should we go in here? We should have got that open one, really, shouldn't we? We'll go here first, since I've already pressed it. Oh, here's the rooms. Um, which one are we? Closet, daughter room, daughter room. Uh, in this one. Huh? Easy. I hear something. And the destroyer will pass through this door. Ah. And he will bear the sight. <laughs> I recognise this voice. Pleased. I know that voice. <laughs> yes. That's and it's the soothsayer from the previous game. And he will say, "Ow! Oh, oh, that's gonna, that's gonna leave a, leave a bum. bum." Hey! <laughs> don't mark me. You wait a second. Here he is. I know you. You're very busy. No, you're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer. The soothsayer from Portofisco. <laughs> No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't it? Uh, that's just hair splitting. Okay, uh, let's have a chat to him then, shall we? Uh... I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Ansgar Meatcap. The famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. <laughs> Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Uh, are you just go down in order, I guess? Journey? Just a little fishing trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish, mm. and that's why you're taking all spider your in the jar there. Furniture. A fly. My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting at. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon, like you might expect from some sinister sect leader. What's that uh, in that hold on yes, the door? Dad. I was look just at that in a, a song for my niece's birthday party and the destroyer will come through this door people <laughs> the destroyer you, Rufus. king of comedians do 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 da and he will bear the sign of the beast he bears the sign of the beast he does an elephant impression Eref elephant <laughs> do do be do. <laughs> not stereotypical at all people bo hey congratulations emil louis Emma Louie? <laughs> yeah, it's a popular girl's name on the Chapinot Coast. Okay, mm. um... Stop pretending! I see through you! Oh dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am mm. the fortune teller. Of but course we were right. I don't like to use my abilities. Oh yeah, there's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that Dear. was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know. One cannot escape one's fate. Exactly. You have to come to terms with it. What? No! <laughs> that is why I gathered like-minded people around me. To prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? 
Okay, um... So we, what are we what doing, are you doing here? here anyway? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. Okay. Uh, I see. Well, this could take a while. Um, should I have his robe? Can I have your robe? No, but <laughs> if you participate in our ritual, you will get your Ooh. own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock hop. <laughs> it is a self pure Come on, Rufus. You never know until you try. To cleanse you of your sins. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. What sins? I'm busy saving the world. Strictly speaking, I'm sort of a saint, and I already washed this week. I have seen it Come on. otherwise. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put know. a stop to your try them all, I suppose. Yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. Oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it spiritually. Spiritually? I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of <laughs> rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> so just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. Uh... What are you doing again? I am preparing. Yeah, the world that. doesn't... Okay. Uh... I think you look just fine. Oh. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Something's not quite right yet. Perhaps I should proc. Uh, we've got to help him at all then. Uh. What makes you think the world will come to an end? The signs were clear. Last night, the horizon was in flames. Mm. Oh, you don't mean my barbecue, do you? <laughs> then it rained fire from the heavens. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have used the cheap briquettes. And frogs? I, I told Doc they weren't done yet. <laughs> Finally, the water of the ocean. So maybe it's all blood. Rufus's fault then. Okay, I get it, I get it. My little barbecue party got a bit out of control. So what? But that doesn't make me a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know it said so on the flyer, but that was just for PR. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, come on. Give me a robe. No, these robes are intended only for people who are willing to wash can, themselves clean. We can wash oh, ourselves clean. Spare me. I'm out of here. I have seen it otherwise. <laughs> uh. Tja, you're beyond help. As are we all. Okay. Well, that'll do for now. So you grab that oh, toothpaste. Okay, let's <laughs> grab that. Candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. Have the toothpaste. Let's go and see. Uh, let's go see what the other rooms are. Uh, let's go in. Should we go? Let's just see this one opposite, shall we? Huh. Locked. Bozo? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. Let's try and use our key, shall we? <laughs> there we it go. Fits. Brilliant. Let's get in there. Ah, here's the crew. Ah, there you are. And wow, what is all this stuff? Oh, an impressive setup. Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. <laughs> huh, pretty speedy. And uh, what does one do with a uh, neuro thingy? thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <coughs> that too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? You know, remerging the aspects of her character. Yes. Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right. Together with the ascension codes. That you need to gain access yes. to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. 
Shower? <laughs> Why? Oh. For the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean yes. person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Gonna take a shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of Goal. Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Okay, can we... Uh, oh. Almost? What do you mean almost? That's, uh... What's oh, that? What do you mean almost? Oh, uh... Nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? N not at all. No problem. I can fillet a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. Mm, can't we all? You just have to press here, and... Rufus, no! That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. <laughs> Rufus... This calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult yeah, Very well said, Bozo. <laughs> professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, <laughs> exactly trying to get rid of him, I think. That uh, plasma uh, exchange. Uh, whoop de doo uh, uh, Mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? <laughs> Hard to come by. Sounds it. Huh. For beginners like you, maybe, but for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. Right, what's that bag on the floor behind that? May I borrow take your that? bag? Sure, go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. <laughs> Why not also take the yeah, bag go for it. my possessions? Hey, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Very considerate. Ah, it's stained. Mm, hey, bozos, of course it was. was. Irony. I thought as much. Yeah, maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go and see what other rooms are. What they have in store for us. Mammoth fur, really? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>